Okay. My man, Dennis, dude. I'm excited Yo. for this, bro. So, dude, for anyone who doesn't know, Dennis, he's one of the OGs. He's been he's been with my coaching for a minute and one of like literally I, I told you, Dennis, like by far top 10 results. Honestly, even just a sick human. I've enjoyed our appreciate our that, bro. Setting, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Um, you're like just on like a friend level. I feel like we've become close. But Definitely. dude, the purpose of this meeting, I want to like ask you a few questions about the whole coaching experience, the pros and cons. I have a few questions to ask. Um yeah. First things first, like you've made top line and most of it was you. I want to be super clear with that. Yeah. I'm no, I'm not the fucking God. I, I think I helped a little bit, but the gist was you, bro. You were able to generate like close to a million bucks at this point. Yeah. And it's sick. Before you got started, were you doing anything in business substantial? Where were you at kind of before everything happened? Um. So I was really just doing like the traditional, uh, I was selling shoes really hard. Like that was like the first thing I was doing for real. It was like, I was moving them too. Like I was doing, <laughs> but like I was moving them for like having a concept of no money. So like a few grand, I thought I was just like out of here, but that was really it. I was selling shoes for a while, bro. But other than that, never like, and I never had any, like, I only had desires to buy more shit with the money. Like I never was thinking about like, Oh, I'll take the money and I'll invest it and I can build this thing and I'll build this big thing. I just wanted the cash to go buy more cool shit. And then yeah. that was really it. Yeah, like that was like the cycle I was in for a while. It was just like sell a bunch of shoes, make some cash and then spend the cash on cooler shit and then kind of repeat and that cycle. But that was it. How old are you now? 21. <laughs> 21. So you were 20 when you started pretty much? Started e-com? Yeah. Yeah. I was 20 no. when I started e-com. Fuck just it, turned dude. 20 actually. So what was like that moment where you decided to like reach out or you found me and what made you want to like reach out and not think this is like a bullshit? Yeah, I remember. I actually, re actually remember it, bro. I think I told you this. It was right around the time. This was a minute ago when I found your account, bro. Because I remember the post, bro. You put a picture up on your Instagram wearing like a fucking scarf with champagne. It was oh, yeah. a baller ass pick. It was In a Dubai. baller ass pick. Yeah, it was a baller ass pick. And that's when I first found your account. So then I started watching for a little bit. And it was really the, like the relatability aspect more than anything. Like, you know, the money is the money, but it was like the relatability. Cause I was like, he seems like a normal human being. You know, a lot of these people are kind of strange on the internet, even the ones that are balling, like they're like strange, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they, it's, yeah, they're like strange, bro. They're like, yeah, you have money, but why are you like talking like that? Why are you? Yeah. It's like strange. So it was like the relatability. And I was just, you know what I realized, bro, I was super honest with myself. I was like, you're not going to be able to pull this shit off solo. Like with no info, with no way. Like it's going to be, it's going to be more hard than it needs to be. So I, I just remember, um, I don't remember if it was an ad or if it was like a, um, like a DM me word thing, but I ended up hitting you. And then I was talking with the sales guy, shout out Luke. And I was talking to, I was talking to him and I remember he was just telling me, he was like, bro, you already like, he was straight up. He was like, bro, you already have no money. The, the risk here is so low and i was thinking to myself yeah i was thinking to myself i was like damn like i already i'm already down so it's like fuck it and that was it it was like that relatability oh, yeah, and like kind of realizing that like you don't have when you're at, when you're at the very beginning in the bottom like you don't actually have anything to lose like okay. you don't have anything to lose because you've already amassed nothing so it's like okay. that was really it it was the relatability combined with just realizing like bro you have nothing to lose you're already at ground zero yeah and i love that I think that a big turning point too, past even the money you have, but the ability to make money. That's what, when Definitely. you have that, like now you have that, you get so much more comfortable. And it's totally. so nice. Um, dude, I love that. Totally. The The next question I kind of have for you is, what made you decide to work with like, you know, me and us and not someone else? Mm -hmm. You know what it was, bro? Like completely transparent about this. It was the way that like, it was really, bro, it was really the way, like, the sale was pitched was, like, it, they, it no was brainer. so, yeah, like, 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 Luke was so good at, you know, accommodating the circumstances. I he was, that. like, look, bro, listen, he was, like, look, we'll get you in, and then we'll figure out the payment shit later. He yes. was, like, but it was very, like, it was very, like, you know, we'll just help you, and then we'll figure out the payment stuff later. And, like, a lot of the stuff, especially in this game, was, like, hard sell, hard sell, hard sell. So it was a good change of pace to be, like, you know what, listen, bro, we'll worry about the payment later. Just get in. We'll get you enrolled. And then we'll go from there. Fuck yeah. Yeah. And I, even we did this back in the day. We still do it now. So she were like, for the really high level shit I do, where I'll throw guarantees on it and shit. Or so I had right. a guy the other day, bro. I was trying to get him in my B2B. He's at 50K a month. I only told him, I won't even charge you for two weeks. Let's just start. And he's like, fuck. Yeah. Like, well, who wouldn't say no? And it's nice, yeah. dude. I, I think I did I did it then and I believed in what I offered then. But now it's, it's a new fucking level. Um, yeah. Last main thing. What was like the biggest concern 
you were worried about or was there really any concern that hey this might not work or you were like fuck it like what was your kind of mind yeah i'm a big like fuck it let's run it and just like i really never consider loss like i never consider the idea of like this isn't gonna work i just kept thinking like I don't know how long it's going to take and I don't know what I'm going to have to do or pivot or what model it's going to be. I was like, but there's some, something on this computer is paying me. Like I, I had that kind of mindset going into it, but I think the biggest, the biggest concern was like, I, I constantly felt like I was missing information. I constantly felt like I was missing info and it was like, I'm still, it's still present. Same thing. Yeah. Still present today. It's like this constant chase where like, if I, if I knew how to do X, Y, Z, then I could make X, Y, Z. And then you learn that. And then you realize there's like more that you need to learn. But yes. I never had the, I never had a concern about like it not working because I was, you know what it is? This is the best way to put it. The alternative is already shit. You're going to work and just like making like no money and just continue about your day is already shit. So I was yeah. like, okay, well this is already terrible. So <laughs> anything that's not this <laughs> is going to be better. Yeah. I was like, anything that's not this is already going to be better. So fuck yes, it. Dude. And that's, that's how I looked at it. Something you said earlier, it was about, um, there were, well, you, you said it, then I was saying how, you know, once you learn how to make money, it's sick. And I even said to people, like, even if you're fucking, once you make some bread and you understand it, like, then you're so chilling. Cause you know, like, dude, even if I have a bad month, like I'm still making Definitely. some money. I'm good. It's, it's such a totally. nice feeling, bro. I'm really happy for you. Um, Appreciate that. looking back from day one, yeah. looking back now, if you didn't sign up, where do you think you'd be right now? Let's just say you didn't do my coaching. You just stayed on your path job. Yeah. I think I probably would still be in the, I would still be in e-com, but I think I would have less access to information because I know that sounds like the obvious answer. Cause like, you know, it's an info There's program, no right but answer. I mean more. Yeah. But like, but like more so that because of that, because of joining, that was like one of the first communities I've ever joined. I have built like a pretty solid contact list given to where I'm at. To where like I'm in that middle ground where like I don't have access to like the, the eight figure guys, but I have like a, a very solid contact list of like six and seven figure guys that have the answers to most of my problems at this point, which is super super ideal. So like now it got easy. Yeah, like having that to where now it's like oh I have a problem like let me just text X Y Z like yo what do I do has has been huge and a lot of those people I met like early on in programs like yours like regular dudes on okay, Discord dude. and they end up growing and you end up growing and then it's like oh shit we're both kind of lit. You know, I had one guy um, and he was saying, man, like, I don't believe in coaching. If I know what I need to do, why would I get a coach? And I said, like, I think people think that you'd go on a different path. And even you yeah. said it perfectly that you w- would have still made it into business. But what's yeah. interesting is, is it just accelerates it. And then like, you have to decide Definitely. on the price, whoever you're talking to wants, or even if it's a friend, if it's free, like, are they going to accelerate or decelerate my journey in life? Totally. And Dude, it's just so funny. It's in almost every case, I think especially when it's a, a coach, at least who's made some good money, really accelerates mm-hmm. shit. I paid fucking just now I'm talking to Andy Elliott's team, doing an event. Really? Like, yeah, Dennis, we'll talk about that off call. But oh, Andy shit. Elliott, I'm trying to get there uh, in person. So dude, they're going to fucking dope. sell. I'll pay you probably fucking yeah. 100 vans, but it's cool, dude. It's even motivating for me. Um, Dennis, bro, I appreciate you so much bro, for doing this. Of course. If any of you guys are watching this too, if you're on the fence, one of our trainings, you might see Dennis inside. Now he's one of the top G's in there. He's, he's pretty much like he's, he just coaches like me. Um, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Of course, bro. Of course. Yeah.